Wargamers, welcome back to the channel, Death From Above Wargaming. I'm Aaron. I'm Tom. And we are back with another battle report, finally, after all of the Wave 2 <sighs> reviews. We've uh, waded through all of the boxes. I'm kind of sad it's over. I enjoyed doing them. Are we really through all of it? Yeah, it's done. Wow. We're done, Tom. Until Wave 3. Actually, until we get the Wolf's Dragoon's Lance oh, in the yeah. winter, Oh, yeah, from, from the Best Buy, no. Bar <laughs> Best Barnes & Noble, Barnes & Noble. <laughs> Best Buy, the it's a washing machine. <laughs> yeah, I was thinking about the, the, the office, office yeah, equipment. Yeah, 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 the office equipment mix. <laughs> okay, uh, so until then. But yeah. tonight, battle report, action. Uh, we've got a whole new style of campaign for you. You guys are going to love it. Never uh, seen before. Never seen before. We talked about it on Patreon. Uh, patrons are pretty excited about it. This is very different from our sort of tournament-style balanced campaign this is more of like a grab stuff off the shelf and play narrative driven campaign. This was this was Tom's brainchild. Don't blame me for it. Tom does not like battle value or math. Oh. And he was like, we need a simpler way to play. I don't want to spend all this time list building. Tom is not a list well, builder. That's the thing you didn't like about 40k either. Got it. Not a list I'm builder. sorry guys, I don't want to break anybody's heart, but I'm really not a list builder. I don't like min maxing stuff. I like I like to play. Yeah. And, and this I like is to a great way to do it. But let me Clarify one thing. Clarify it. The genesis of the idea, the, the nugget, came from wanting to play specific lore-based mm -hmm. stories. Um, and the fact that the forces in those stories, the scenarios aren't always balanced to like a tournament. Right. And so all of a sudden, like you just cannot play them with our rule set. And I wanted to, and I was like, we should come up with a way where you can sort of fit these uneven forces and make it work right. on at, from a rules perspective on the tabletop. Right. So we've been refining and refining. You know, Aaron is the master of math and of rules. Yeah, he's he's the rule master. So we're going to try it out. You know, I'll let you yeah. talk again. I didn't want to like... No, I, I love I love it. When, people love it when you talk. Great. People absolutely, they go bananas. Yeah, that's uh, so... Uh, that's this is this is very much like we're, we you know we talked to Matt we talked to Randall too and farmed some ideas and like this is very much um, you know Randall's like this is kind of like you know like Battle Force right where mm. you're playing things on like a formation level right so you grab a heavy star and I grab a medium lance and a light lance and like we know they have like a point cost right and yeah we've we, I've used battle value and I built these sort of models to kind of figure out like what's the average battle value for like a mech in this yeah. relative weight class. We have some restrictions on what you can pick and which formation, but they're right. very lightweight right now. Yeah. Um, it and that does... was also to drive differentiation, right? Like yeah. you want a heavy lance or, or a heavy star to feel like a heavy star and to have a reason to call it that, right? So That's you right. can't throw, well, like a good example is you have a minimum tonnage, right? So you can't load up a super heavy mech, and I don't mean that as a class, I just mean right. like a 90 ton heavy. It's not a super heavy ton. Yeah, I know. <laughs> um, with like a bunch of lights just to make your your total weight it right, has to right. be it has to be within like right and there's there's some like you need to have at least one medium two heavies in this stuff right. right like and that gives us the opportunity down the road to add in uh the alpha strike formations which a lot of people you know when we first came out with destiny we're like you got to figure out how to work this in so this is so sort we of can build the formations to the rules to use them in yeah closer the to the, yeah exactly yeah exactly so um exciting stuff so tonight our narrative is this guys this is a good one um so, so really, this narrative was born out of we wanted to use as many new mechs as possible. <laughs> yeah, uh, let's, so, let's be honest. Let's be honest. <laughs> so this is sort of our, our, our pilot run, if you will. Tom painted up some amazing uh, Clan Novacat Alpha Galaxy mechs. Um, and I did not paint, but had painted, had someone paint for me. Oh, oh right, right. <laughs> uh, the, the Crucis Lancers. Yeah. Um, and I just want to put a plug in for this guy. Check him out. Plug it. Alarm resistant is his handle. Uh, I found the guy on Fiverr. Uh, you can find him on, I believe, Instagram, Twitter. He's on Facebook. I Alarm think I saw him resistant. Post these up. Yeah, he's posted these up. Some of you guys may have seen these already. He's an awesome guy, uh, and he's an awesome painter. He was sending me pictures and updates throughout the whole process. Um, and I was like, oh, these look really good. Then I got them in the mail, and I opened them up, and I was blown away. Like they look so much better in person. Then in the pictures, I'm, I'm I'm really excited to show them off in the battle report. I'm jealous tonight. you didn't have to spend the time painting them. That I well, that's because I was doing all the math for that's your true. stupid that's campaign true. idea, Tom. Yeah, it's at least not it stupid. sort it's of awesome. offloaded it. But, yeah. Um, so well, I will say one thing: the the Loki that I have, the Hellbringer, he's not alpha. He is my homebrew like Tal 
a wild galaxy oh, yeah. paint scheme. Oh, so he's awesome. Yeah, he's cool, but they're, he's like not the right. I, I did speak about this on Facebook quite a bit. Like, hey, I have this idea for an Alpha Galaxy. Like, this is not Alpha Galaxy. It's like, just... Alpha Galaxy is black with the blue center. And like, I was like, fair enough, fair enough. Yeah, no well, joke. Bro. I'm like, okay, fair, fair. So well, I painted up Alpha correctly, I think, pretty correctly. Um, and then you got some of your new, your, your homebrew Galaxy towels. Yeah, yeah. Like the, I, That's yeah, very cool. The like towel. It. And they're not, like, the towel is a real one, but they're mm -hmm. like crazy looking yeah so i figured they'd fit in with yeah the ridiculousness i think right. the towel is the one the the rainbow that oh is that from the one card really? i think that that's a okay one of them well there yeah. you go um so tonight we've got so that going hating. on it takes place on the planet of david david and uh Goliath. now as you guys may know clan nova cat uh wait is a minute palling around with the draconis combine that's right okay and the Federated Sons uh, are in control of David, then they lose control of it, then they gain control of it, they lose control of it. Um, Where the, are we at in that? <laughs> so, <laughs> well, right now it's like in, it's in, it's in the middle somewhere. Okay. Uh, and the Ninth Crucis Lancers, which is uh, sort of my own Crucis Lancers uh, regiment, they're, they're dug in uh, on this yeah. world of David. And the Combine's all, you know, they're, they're all upset about it. So Novacat decides they're gonna be, they're gonna be bros with the Combine and come in and exterminate the Crucis Lancers. They're gonna they're just going to rip them off this planet. Or will they? They're gonna try. They're gonna try. So this first mission, it's an intercept mission, and this represents uh, Clan Novacat really landing, making their initial push uh, into the into the combat zone, right? Yeah. Um, so we have a couple of interesting narrative options that we added to this mission. These are like add-ons to our basic mission right. to help bring things back into balance or create an even wilder imbalance, yeah. right? And, all, and again, and, and to and they're sort of modeled to fit pretty common lore-based scenarios you find. Right. You know, like, um, yeah. Well, like, well yeah, I mean, so, so really it was, yeah. Like, you, I, I mean, was thinking about, like, emplacements and stuff. For, yeah, like, there's, like, gun emplacements yeah. and ambushes and assassination-type things you can bolt onto the mission. Yeah. Tonight, what we're doing is... Destroying object. My, my mission, or my, my mission modifiers, right, or options are... I have to come on in waves. So my forces are divided into three waves that come on on turn one, four, and six. Um, and then I also have the mission option to outflank. So I can come in from my home edge or either of the side edges. So one of those things is a penalty to me. Or, you know, it, it hurts me, I should right, say. Right, because it's giving you an advantage. Right, it's giving you an advantage, the waves, right? Oh, oh, you and mean... And then the outflank yeah, yeah. gives me an advantage. I was right? saying penalty in, in your, your yes. force percentage. Yeah, yeah, no. Right, yeah. I get it. So a disadvantage to me gives me more points. An advantage to me gives me less points, right? We kind of yeah. put those modifiers together. So anyway, so we have this mission set up. I'm very excited to do it. So I've got a light lance and a medium lance against your heavy star. Why don't we quickly take a look at these beautiful new mechs, and then we'll get into the mission. So check out these mechs, guys.
right, guys. So there it is. Two final things. One, subscribe now. Subscribe now. If you haven't subscribed, you're breaking my heart. And don't go breaking my heart. That's my favorite song in high school. Yeah, we're, we're in a race with, I don't know, just, just subscribe. <laughs> we're in a race with, uh, what's that, what's that, the little kid that plays all the toys? Oh, I can't even think of it. You know who I'm talking about. He makes billions of dollars a year. I'm very jealous of him. Yeah, yeah, we're trying to get, you know. Ryan's World. We're is coming like, for you, buddy. You may have 10 like, million subscribers, but we are, we're coming for you. We're like this close, guys. So close. This close. Click the subscribe button. <laughs> and if you want to get more involved, guys, head on over to Patreon and check us out there. Uh, so you can basically join in all the action. We have a great veteran challenge coming up. Yeah, um, and these so rules will be posted for, yeah. for patrons at some point. You guys can participate in the yeah. beta testing. And yeah. It'll be awesome. Exciting stuff. All right, well, why don't we get into the action? You ready, sir? Boom. Guys, it's coming right up. Based the fury of data. Come in. This is Apex. Multiple hostiles inbound. Resistance intel is confirmed. Clan Novacat dropships have touched down. Shadow Strikers are two clicks out and moving to support. We're sending air cover now. Hang tight. Attention spheroids. You may have been able to annoy the dragon, but the might of Clan Novacat's Alpha Galaxy will crush you like the insects you are. We will wipe your filth from the face of this planet. Exciting here. Uh, we've got a little little highway in the center. This is uh, some sort of critical population junction, and the forces of Clan Novacat poised uh, to come in from that edge over there, and the uh, Crucis Lancers coming in from any of these three edges here. So we've got our six objectives set on the board per the mission parameters. Uh, at the end of turn one, one of these objectives will go hot all the way turn two, three, four, and five. So only five of the six objectives go hot. The sixth one, Tom, goes in the dumpster. That's it. So you don't oh, know which right. you don't know which five are going hot. Um, but sometimes the dice land in your favor. Sometimes they don't. Tom definitely has a firepower advantage here. But my lighter, faster mechs might be able to cap objectives sooner. So we'll see what happens. Guys, turn one is coming up. Tom, are you ready for this bloodbath, sir? Yeah, I was just looking at that Nova Cap B. I, it's funny that we kept that one. I mean, six LRM 15s is. You're like, a disgusting human. <laughs> I mean, is that 90 LRMs? Is my math correct there? <laughs> that's so ridiculous. I mean, if you hit anything in the open, it's just going to get just obliterated. Explodes. Yeah. And that's two groups, right? Two ticks. Two separate three groups. LRM 15s, yeah. yeah. And that's courtesy of our rule uh, that, that basically limits <laughs> the maximum this, damage. Yeah. Who built this mech? And also, where are they on this figure? Is the question. Well, that's I have. so the B. Well, we're gonna have to solve the arms and, and convert it to the. Does B it have? What is it? Just like giant missile parts? <laughs> It's like we should cut off the longbow. I was gonna say, is it like the giant longbow thing? Probably. What I mean, it's bigger. It has to have like two, three of them. I mean, right? really, because they're twenties, right? Oh, so are they basically? 20s? Okay. 
It's basically got three catapult arms on each side. Or I was going to see the Mad Cats, you know, right? Ooh, I got a lot of those spare boxes. Mad Cats. Wait, we're going to do it, guys. He, it looked like a giant boom box. <laughs> you know, or like... Be awesome. What was Ooh, the that transformer that was a boombox? Shockwave or Soundwave? Soundwave, yeah. Oh man. I was thinking too of like the um Fury Road, the Oh my gosh. The Mad Max with the big truck. This is already off to a great start, guys. Yeah, we're All going right. To, okay. Well listen, we're gonna get into movement and turn one coming right up. Alright guys, here we are. After turn one movement, the forces of Clan Novacat have moved on. Just a couple of forward mechs here scrambling from the Crucis Lancers to respond. <laughs> like, what's uh, going on? <laughs> what, yeah, oh my god! Uh, so this is uh, this is late. This is uh, we it said it in the animation, but we we didn't say it in the intro. This is uh, this is like early Republic era, right? This is like just at the very beginning of the formation of the Republic. Um, so you know we're used to the clans by now. The Intersphere know what's up. We have some pretty high tech mechs as well. Um, and a little aerospace fighter on the board. So t Tom and I were talking about which mechs I should bring. We, we sort of piloted this um, earlier in the week. We were playing a similar mission, and I, and I brought on my heaviest mechs first. This time I went with the two mechs that have the highest TMM, my Centurion and my Clint, and also my aerospace fighter, Tom. Yeah. Um, and I'm keeping them as far, as far away as I can from, from your forces uh, because i got to wait till turn four, and then only three more of my mechs come on. Uh, so what do you got here? Tell me what you have going on. Yeah, same thing. I, um, I just moved all, all of my heavy guys, heavies and mediums, actually all my heavies, and sprinted them on the board, and then the uh, the Ice Ferret, the Fenris, has no long or extreme range weapons, mm -hmm. so I figured keep him in cover, put him through the trees, uh, and I'll get up, and then I'll be near two objectives and can maybe help uh, harass you. Um, again, I feel I'm metagaming a little bit because we, again, we played a similar mission right. earlier in the week and you came in from the side and I had nothing, uh, to Protect defend. Flank yeah, yeah. To, yeah. Yeah. So that's all right though. It's a somewhat, so I, I learned my lesson there a little bit. And also again, this mech just doesn't have anything to help. So exactly. just get it's through. all pulse lasers. Yeah. So this will protect it. And it also got just totally pummeled last time. Did you play an Ice Ferret? Yeah, you did. It was a different variant. But... Yeah, I don't know if it was the Ice Ferret that got aced, but <laughs> whatever my other light was... <laughs> yeah, it was a Oh, it was definitely not the Fenix. Yeah, it was a Kit Yeah, it was a Kit yeah, Just yeah, got, like, got murked. <laughs> with, like, the first turn, I think, just, like... <laughs> Lost leg, fell yeah, on its head. The pilot got shot, I yeah. think. Or, oh, oh good it was times, bad. It was bad. Times. Um, so, if you notice, we got an Aerospace Fighter on the board. This was a new addition in our Destiny card builder. We added the rules. Those are released on Patreon. Um, aerospace fighters move just like they do in Alpha Strike, um, and you can see I, I placed on the far side of the board uh, a, uh, a base in, oh, the, in the shape of the Federated there Suns there. So you can see the flight path. They fly straight across the board. Um, so it is going to be flying in at low altitude behind all of those mechs, and we'll be shooting at that Nova Cat. So, um, can you see lasers on camera? Yeah, that yeah, one shows cool. up. I mean, that's no ordinary laser time. Yeah. Well, I think I just burned the We mat. need to wear... <laughs> I like this goggles <laughs> got the goggles on. The, so the good. lights dim. Oh, yeah. good times, good yeah. times. All right, so we're going to get into shooting. So guys, stay tuned. That's coming right up. Uh, I got my Sparrowhawk over there. This is the 7D variant. Uh, that's zipping across the board and, and low altitude. It's going to be uh, raking against that Nova Cat. Uh, now, if I did an actual strafing run, I could hit multiple targets and fire my energy weapons multiple times, but there's a modifier for that, plus three. I'd rather just focus on that Nova Cat. I only need threes and fives, Tom. Threes and fives, because I have pulse lasers, and I am just, just flying over the tippy top of your head. Uh, so we're going to start with the medium pulse lasers. Uh, this is where I need a three. Got it. And I'm going to then just see, I'm gonna just going to see if they both hit fives. Ooh, got it. Okay, so uh, I should, should have let that hit the head. All right, uh, so location for the pulse lasers is torso, and for the ER mediums is 10. What is that, left arm? Yeah. That is left arm. Okay, so each of those is going to take four points of damage. Not, not bad. Now, that is going to trigger a piloting check on that Novacat, believe it or not. Uh, but your piloting is for, uh, what would you get there? Okay. Got it. Okay, eight. So we're good to go. All right, so that wraps up turn one. Moving on to turn two. But before we do, Tom, 
before we do, you get to roll. Subscribe. <laughs> Subscribe now. Uh, before we do, you get to roll to see which objective goes hot. Oh, yeah. So we've got four. One, two. Yeah, so four, one, two. Three, four, five, six. Three, five, and six. Okay. Six. Classic. Six. Now, I don't. I don't love it because it is in your firing line, but I do love it because it's it is on my side. side. However, I have no forces. What do you see here? I see just open, open grass over here, Tom. Yeah. Um, my two mechs over here, hoping to use this this hill and these these buttresses to cover. But, ugh, I don't know. All right. Well, guys, stay tuned. Turn two. We'll be right back. Forces uh, spooked by the by the Sparrowhawk here, they are turning in all sorts of different directions, trying to get a bead on it. Uh, aerospace here paying off. So let's talk about what you did first, um, because you I went last with the aerospace, so you kind of had to pre pre set up your guys, right? Yeah. Uh, so tell me tell me what you did. Yeah. So same thing. I just kept moving the ice guard up, um, sort of in between those two objectives, keeping him in cover. Um, and then the heavy mechs on the side, again, I sort of fanned them out. They all walked this time so that they could fire, and I was trying to harass your, um, your aerospace, so two face this way and two face that way, yeah. in case of whatever you tried to pull um, <laughs> to try to scare you off, which it sort of scared you off, but not enough. Um, so yeah, so that's where I'm at. So I figured I would be able to get some shots in on your uh, Sparrow, even though, again, it's like plus five to hit and yeah, long or extreme range depending, so. Yeah. Yeah, it's gonna be interesting. So uh, let me tell you what I did with my Crucis Lancers down here. So the Clint and the Centurion both sprinted uh, across here. These mechs are stupid fast in this era. The, the, the Centurion moves 12 inches on a sprint. It's like an 812 mech, and the Clint's is 711, so yeah, very that's fast. That's as fast as my ice ferret. Yeah, yeah, yeah they, they've got some some pretty sweet tech in there. Um, now with this guy, he went last, so what I decided to do was be a cheeseburger. Uh, and with your thrust, you can move, right? So I moved him here and then pivoted him, and I'm gonna just do sort of an end around, like, boosh, like try to hit that ice ferret in the woods. I am at, I'm at medium altitude middle altitude, or whatever it's called, the medium. So range. does that mean you're like, you're shooting at medium? Correct. Like medium range for like your weapons? Correct. I don't, I've never played that. Yeah, that's right. Um, and then, uh, you know, so basically you're gonna have to add distance to, right, to your things, right? Uh, so, all right. You wanna shoot, you want me to shoot first? Or shoot well, first? we shoot in initiative order, so you, I you, are, you did lose, and your guys, I think, are gonna go before mine. So you're gonna get a couple of shots, and then I may get to retaliate with my fighter. So, cool. we'll be right back with that. Okay, Novacats are up. So again, we're firing the uh, linebacker and the uh, Loki at the Sparrow Aerospace Fighter. It's a Sparrow have... Hawk, Tom. This is a Sparrow Hawk? Okay, cool. Okay. It's not um, just a Sparrow. <laughs> yeah. So, again, because of aerospace and him being at medium, I'm measuring to his his, um, his flight line and then up to his height. So I am shooting at um, long range with the linebacker. I have okay. two ticks. Oh, two and ticks. I, and what, I, what are you firing? What weapons? Oh, from the linebacker, uh, two, uh, an LRM, 15 and an LRM-5. Oh, God. And then uh, two Clan ER large lasers. Got it. Um, so let's fire first, LRMs? Yeah, I'll fire the LRMs first. Need a 10. Seven, won't do it. Same thing, need a 10. I get it. Oh, so boy. the two large lasers I hit on, uh, I roll. You roll, you roll location, okay? Uh, nine. Nine, that is, uh, that is left wing. He's spiraling Ooh, yeah. <laughs> uh, what, How much damage was it? Um, <laughs> seven. Uh, seven damage. Yeah. Oh my god. Okay, so that is going to trigger. Um, that 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 exceeds my damage threshold. So, so what does that mean? So that's going to trigger a potential critical hit, <laughs> uh, which is unfortunate. Uh, I do happen to have. 
Oh, it triggers a potential critical hit. So yeah, how do they so, work on aerospace? So on aerospace fighters, I got my, my handy dandy Destiny book here, which you can get over at Aries Games and Minis, by the way. And you can also uh, subscribe to the channel. You, <laughs> you can also <laughs> subscribe to the channel. So when you hit an aerospace fighter, um, aerospace fighters basically have uh, a damage threshold. And when you exceed that damage threshold, you, you roll basically to confirm a critical. And I'm just double checking. Same thing um, though, like roll yeah. A plus? Uh, it is an A plus to confirm, yeah. And, and what we've done, so in the Destiny book, this is what I was looking up, it's just two or better is the threshold for all aerospace fighters. Oh, but, so you get two damage and... It's yeah, a... but we, we modified that based on the structure and the armor and like basically the general size of the fighter, right? Bigger fighters with more armor, obviously it should be harder to punch through. So, no, right. um, so this one has a damage threshold of four, it's right on the card. So you exceeded that with a seven. So you need to roll an eight plus. Should I edge that? Yeah. No, I won't. I won't. Cause that's, um, edge is very important. And Tom's feeling generous. I'm going to see what would have happened. Oh, I would have got it. You would have got it. You would have got it. Oh, Tom. the dice gods. Okay. They're not going to be happy that I looked into the future. Um, yeah, so the Loki's up. So Loki's got 12s to hit because he's at long, he's at extreme range. And- Loki silks. <laughs> yeah. Um, I'll be firing my, my, my Gauss and then two ER large lasers. Okay. So first up, long 12, not gonna make it. And again for a 12, not even close. So, whew. okay. Aerospace fighter, it takes a little bit of heat. Does manage to survive. Is that a piloting check or something? He is going to need to make okay. a control check as well, which we'll do at the end of the turn, but I will mark him accordingly. Uh, is that hard for an aerospace pilot or is it like the same as... Same deal. He's okay. four piloting skill. So that's not too yeah, bad. Not too bad. Uh, so my turn next. All right. That Sparrowhawk is up firing at the Fenris. Uh, I'm at medium range. And uh, so the pulse lasers can't shoot, which I hate about this design. I really want to modify it and put four ER, lar or four ER mediums on it. Um, Do they have more tonnage? No, the pulse lasers way more. Pulse lasers oh, are twice as heavy. Swap up. But the pulse lasers give you what lower to hit numbers? Correct. Same, same range. range shot, but no, no, they're, they're less they're range. That's what I thought. Okay. Yeah, yeah. Uh, so anyway, I digress. I need a nine. Come on, baby. It's an eight. It's a seven. Oh. Seven. It's a seven. I are not good at maths. I don't know. I'm not going to edge it. Uh, I don't think it's worth it. For, so for we're at the end of the turn. These guys sprinted. Everybody else is looking in the wrong direction. So I need to make a control check. Uh, here we go. <laughs> is it any is it any modifier for taking damage? Like uh, it's the normal, one? like, you know. Just piling. Yeah, yeah. Okay. So, no, I mean, you get plus one per seven points and all that stuff. So okay. he made a five. Uh, he needed a five. So he's good. Oof. Good to go, Tom. Edge um, it. No, I'm kidding. <laughs> edge, I made it. Edge it anyway. All right, so we're getting closer to reinforcements. Do you, um, you want to roll for the uh, objective? The or? last time we did this game, you rolled them all, and it was so good. So I'm going to ask <laughs> you to keep rolling. <laughs> I see I see how it is. Four. Four. Oh, this one here. Oh, I don't like that. I do not like that. That's that's hard because... I don't like that. You got re He got real lucky because the... The objective markers all on one side came on at the same time, like, yeah. so he could use his outflank. But now you have to make a decision. I have to make a decision. But Tom, it's turn three. I, if I can survive one more, I get some meat coming on my wave. Quite a lot. My wave two is uh, your mediums or this. This is a heavy, Tom. Don't don't disparage. Oh, okay. This is a crusader. Look at this baby. Ooh. Uh, that's Apex. She is the she's the force commander of this mission yeah i got ogre and the wolverine coming on next look at these beautiful paint jobs and then yeah. the, this guy who's your force your commander favorite. what's what's oh business front sorry. party in the rear yeah <laughs> who's your uh what's her call sign apex apex you know what my uh leader's call sign is star in, in, the, in the nova cat what is it star captain Oberg. but what's his his call sign is whiskers that's why my friends call me whiskers because i'm curious like a cat like curious like a cat <laughs> So we got whiskers. Oh my god, I love it. We got it. warlock in the Ebon in the uh, cauldron born. Yeah, you know. We got it's... fax in the linebacker. <laughs> Trickster in the uh, Loki, and oh, then uh, Speedy in the Ice Spirit. I love it. I love it. All right. Well, there they are. So guys, can the Crucis Lancers survive? Can these guys hold out? Can that Sparrowhawk survive another another barrage? It took some heat there. It's yeah. Scary stuff. Um, well, I, I completely ignored it the the last time, but it's yeah. just I. Can't ignore it. Yeah, when when I'm not paying attention, you can get low and 
Do just eight points yeah. of damage? Uh, yeah, it's pretty serious. It's a lot of damage. It's yeah. a lot, guys. All right, so turn three's coming up. Don't go away. turn three one turn away from salvation time um I'm, I'm scared you actually won initiative this time but it didn't matter because <laughs> yeah. all of my guys are higher than you in the initiative bracket because somehow I have, well plans. i picked my fastest I guys know. to come on right that was that was all part of the all part of the plan yeah. gaming the system as it were um so because my aerospace fighter ended up on this side you realize you didn't need to do the the goofy russian dance where you throw hey <laughs> <laughs> um but bad news for the Lancers. Uh, you've got this Fenris here. Uh, he, yeah. Uh, unless a miracle right. happens, right? He's going to get a control point on that, but he won't score that objective until the end of next turn. Right. Um, so, <clears throat> anything else special going on over here? Uh, no. Yeah. Again, just sort of moving up. I'm trying to. Um, I'm a little bit hesitant to go too hard in any direction because you have the outflank. So I think depending on what goes active at the end of the round, mm -hmm. you're going to decide where you're coming in from. I assume you're coming in from this side. Um, that would be my guess, but it, I think it also depends. If that one came live, you'd probably come here to blow him up. So just keeping people. And there's just not a lot of cover either. So little. From, from flanking. So yeah. I was thinking about getting sort of up in this area so I could you know, either go around this way or go around that way. Yeah. So that's sort of where I'm all right. Um, well, on my side, uh, my Sparrowhawk did a very heroic maneuver. It's just flying across the back at, uh, at extreme altitude. Like a baby. Like a baby. <laughs> I debated dropping a bomb on the linebacker. It is equipped with one high explosive bomb, uh, but I think it would have been pretty funny. funny. It would have been, been funny. I know there's four points of damage. I need to like a 10. So I decided to keep him in, in reserve, as it were, for now. Um, my Clint just doing a quick maneuver here, looking through that bridge at that linebacker. And the Centurion very, uh, looking at his range finders very carefully, just making sure he's only in range of that linebacker and nobody else. Now there is cover, Tom checking it already, from the rocks, the bridge, everything. But those three mechs are going to be in a firefight this turn. Yeah. Um, other than that, it's uh, not much else going on. So guys, we're going to get into shooting. Tom, you're going to kick it off. Yep. And then I'll, then I will. Oh, actually no, because I lost. Oh, but I'm earlier in the initiative. You so you're okay. earlier in the initiative phase. Fair enough. All right, here we go. I like it. Shooting's up. Nova Cats first. Um, linebacker is my only mech in range. Okay. So he's going to be firing through at the clink. Um, extreme range needs tens. So I have two ticks. First tick of LRMs. Nine. Oh, I'm sure that I did the math right. Uh, yeah, I mean, we can double check it. So he's skill three. Uh, TMM three is six. Uh, extreme range. 10, actually you forgot cover, you need 11s. Or is there, I don't think he has. Yeah, oh, he doesn't, okay. Yeah. I think just this guy does, you're right. Yeah. Just a century. So okay. you were right, 10s it is, Tom. Second tick. Okay, that doesn't, does that count? Are we trying to keep him in the box? Keep him in the box, Tom. Okay. It doesn't matter though, because yeah. you rolled a one. <laughs> yeah, it doesn't. I know, I just like to keep consistency. Yes. So uh, no, no sh man, that's not a good turn for me. <laughs> I mean, every time you are like, I'm shooting a clan mech, I clench my butt cheeks. Yeah. Uh, there's so much firepower coming out of those mechs. All right, well, my little guys are going to try to retaliate. Yeah. Yep. Uh, Fenris, he's only medium pulse, right? Yeah, he has nothing. He's got at nothing. Long or stream. He's got nothing. I'm excited. All right, Crucis Lancers are up, ready to retaliate here. So um, I've got a Clint 6S, this is Tracker. He's got two ER large lasers on this thing. This is a, this is a meaty variant. Uh, they do uh, six damage, they're both in the right arm, and I need nines to hit here, Tom. Firing at that linebacker, here we go. Oh, close. Do I edge? I mean, here's... You can just re-roll the one die. I could just re-roll the one die. It's a 50-50. Because it's a four. You um, is it worth it with nothing damage? Nothing know? damage. I don't think it is. All right, that here was we go. my thought too. With the... It's just, it's too early. I, I'm not an early edger, as we know. And sometimes right. it comes back to bite me. I was trying to be like you, Tom. Yeah. Uh, oh, if you, yeah, if you want to play aggressive, I mean, <laughs> yeah, go for it. I would, it's <laughs> worth trying. Centurion's got a light Gauss rifle and an LRM-10. Both need nines to hit. There is cover, but he's a better gunner. He's, uh, he's part of my medium lance, which is, uh, they're all, I've upgraded them. 
We didn't talk about that, Tom. We yeah. didn't talk about that. So our formations, guys, as they uh, when you buy them initially in the campaign. Look at that cool card. Look at this cool card. These are these are going to be available on Patreon soon. You can track all your pilots, their skills, and then there's an upgrade path that's unique for each formation at the bottom, so you can upgrade. Uh, they're piloting, they're gunnery, um, how many support choices they get. Like, you can get support choices like this aerospace fighter, tanks, things like that. Um, infantry, elementals, all that cool stuff. So, I spent some I spent some points on these to upgrade. Base formation gets no support points, right? You have to at least... Uh, the, everybody gets, every formation gets one support point. Oh, okay. Yeah, one support choice. And then as they get into, like, elite status, they can, some of them get two. Yeah. As we, so, that's at least the way we have it right now. Okay. We, may, we may change it. Who knows, Tom? Yeah, I wasn't sure if to get that first support choice if you had to at least put like one upgrade point. We actually didn't talk about it. We could we could sign it into law right now. Uh, all decree right, decree, <laughs> clan Bye decree. decree. Uh, so I'm going to start with my light Gauss rifle. Uh, this needs a nine to hit that linebacker. Got it. Got it. Come on, give me a twelve. Light, <laughs> light Gauss to the head. It's a nine. That's a left leg. Um, uh, not what, what is that something? Do? That's going to do. Uh, what does that do? That does three points of damage. Tom. Okay. Uh, and here we go, LRM-10, mm. no good. All right, so just the light Gauss hits. I mean, we're just firing through the, the fog of war here, through terrain as these clan mechs emerge, marching implacably uh, towards their objectives from the landing zone. Uh, am I rolling again? Uh, oh, for the next objective. We're yeah. at the end of turn three, right? So no piloting checks, nothing like that. You come in at the end of turn four or the beginning of turn four? Beginning of turn, on the movement okay. phase in turn four. You're not, you cannot push this out any further, Tom. <laughs> oh, okay, ready? Five. Please tell me it's this <sighs> right one. Right in the middle. Oh man, that is middle. not what I wanted. I was hoping for objective three, but this is now starting to shape up to be a bloodbath, Tom. Yeah. A bloodbath. Is, this is gonna be dangerous. It's going to be interesting. All right, so, uh, guys, we're going to get right to it. Turn four. It's going to get ugly real fast. Stay tuned. Here it comes. Turn four. The lone Crucis Lancers. We now have some help here. Uh, supported on their left flank by the uh, the two mediest mechs in my formation, uh, my, my force, I should say. So my medium lance formation, I have a Crusader and a Wolverine, and then that Spider also in that, uh, that light lance coming in to help. Uh, the Sparrowhawk there in the middle, Tom, just screaming in low, excited that low? his buddies are here. Oh yeah, he's a low one. Uh, he is, he's... He's ready to do some damage, so we'll see. to go through the meat grinder. <laughs> we'll see what happens. We'll see what happens. We'll Play do all a sorts very of stuff. dangerous game, yeah. Uh, Playing a dangerous game, uh, but we'll see. <clears throat> We're hoping to uh, to distract. Now, you lost initiative, actually, mm -hmm. right? But you you know you pretty much made a standard move here. Your uh, your ice ferret looking to cap. Yeah, he was. He's moving away from that edge. Not far enough away from the edge, but he moved it away. He moved a full inch, so he's at like the very max three inch away from it, yep. so that he could get the um, his TMM, his TMM yeah. up. Yeah. Yep. But the rest, again, I was worried that you were gonna come. I didn't know what edge you were gonna come in on because I lost initiative. Yeah. And even if I hadn't, like. No, you know, I would. I would. I think you would have gotten some hit because okay. you have some threes, right? You're, yeah. You would have known before your ice fur, but you're right. Large. The, the large majority of your force had no idea. Yeah. So I didn't like go hard for that six um, or the five because again I was just a little bit worried. But uh, I'm very scared for my Fenris, he's going to get lit up, I think. We'll see, man, but we'll see. That's, that's the benefit of Outflight. Yeah, we'll see. I don't know, I don't know if I can take him down before... He's got a, he's, Fenris has a lot of armor. Yeah. A lot of fast, too. Okay. Um, All I need probably is, like, another inch, and then you probably can't. Like, what is it, two inches and you can shoot through? Three inches, Three yeah. Inches. So you're only an inch in, uh, unfortunately. I mean, depending on the angle. But from that Crusader, you're, you're an inch in. I'm like four inches away from him. From who? The Wolverine. Oh, the Wolverine. Wolverine yeah, sprinted. Yeah. yeah. But yeah. So um, I am. Tom, Tom measuring fast and yeah. easily. I am very. F he can actually shoot me. The spider? The. Neither of them, I don't think. Uh, we'll find out. Well, oh, no, the spider can, but I don't think the. The Wolverine sprinted. Yeah. Well, he can't oh, see. he sprinted anyway. He can't see. You. That's okay. That was intentional. I'll have to see. All right, so uh, you're going to start your shooting, Tom. 
Yeah, yeah, I have to figure out what I'm going to shoot at. All right, well, we'll, be, uh, we'll be right back with Clan Novacat pulling some triggers. Novacat's up first. The, the, uh, the Fenris is going to try some shots at that spider. Mm. Um, realize they came in on his flank. He's feeling very exposed right now. Very exposed. Yeah. <laughs> so they're at, they're at medium range from each other. Um, I have two ticks of uh, clan medium pulse lasers. So I'm at a plus zero to hit. Um, so it's seven total for shooting out of the woods. Got it. I am going to edge that. Okay. Hit. Got it. All right, so, so four first hit hits. It's five points of damage. Five points of damage to the nine. That is internal on the left leg. Okay. Uh, do you want to confirm the crit? Does no crit. Okay. okay. And then the left, and then the last seven for the second tick of uh, pulse lasers. I get that one too. Okay. So let's hope for another high number. It's five. Oh my God, that's the leg. That's the right leg. Um, you have a potential crit. Get that one. Oh. Okay. Uh, so go ahead and roll 1d6. I believe the only thing you're going to get here is um, one. It's going to be it. Well, that's ammo, but there's no ammo. So you just re-roll. It's going to end up being an actuator. Okay. Uh, which Five. stinks. Um, yeah, that's going to be it's going to be a hit on his leg actuator. So an actuator critical. That's going to drop his TMM, his speed. Uh, so speed goes down by two. His TMM goes down by okay. one. And that's good right. for a spider. Like, or for me, I mean, not for you. Sorry. Yeah, it but, sucks for me. Yeah. Sucks but like that's the best thing you can do. The best thing you can do is aim, fast aim for the legs. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> um, okay, so moving across to the linebacker, yeah? Yeah, the linebacker was going to fire at these uh, sparrow hawk because I'm at extreme okay. across to that um, centurion, is it? Yeah, yeah, yeah. it was so, high to 11s to hit the centurion. Yeah, so we figured I'd be at medium range to you. Medium right? range, right, because he's so, at, right, when you add the altitude. So the linebacker has three at plus, z two at plus zero, one at plus two. LRM 15, LRM 5, um, plus zero. So you're so, going to need, uh, they're plus zero at medium. All right, yeah. so you're going to need eights to hit them. Yeah. Yikes. Doesn't get it. Um, the second tick, we two ER uh, large lasers. Oh my God. Same thing. Terrifying. This is terrifying. I get that. All right, I'm going to edge it and make you reroll. Both, both dice? Yeah, both dice. Okay. Seven. Uh, damn. Oh Should God. I edge that? Uh, no, I don't know. I won't, because I have one more. I have my Nova Cat that can fire that. You well. have Nova Cat that can fire like nine yellow rounds a yeah, day. Yeah. <laughs> so, um, I'm, I'll just move along with the firing. Okay. So, same thing. Two LRM 15 uh, salvos. Okay. Plus zero, so it'll be an eight as well. From the Nova Cat yeah. into the Sparrowhawk. Got it. Okay. Get the first one. So, this is going to do... Um, oh. Nine plus M three. Okay. So I got him up there on the right here. I'll write on the quick reference card okay. for your pleasure. Um, so I, I, that means I only get you get. A, what's the damage? Is nine plus M three? And what's the max? M three. Fifteen. Okay, so nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen. All right, so you do a tick of nine, a tick of three, and a tick of one. Nine, three, one. Dear Lord. So the first tick of nine. <laughs> Blow right off that left wing is gone. Can I shoot the other ticket something else? No, no uh, you can cannot. Um, okay. All right, so let's. So I took out the airspace. You took out the airspace okay. fighter. That's bad for me. Um, but we'll see if I can do some sort of bombing, strafing, death run here. Death run. So that only leaves um, the uh, Evan Jaguar, the Cauldron Born, and my Loki, who are both firing across at the uh, Centurion. Okay. So we'll start with the uh, the Cauldron Born. Okay. <clears throat> Excuse me. So they're at long range, and um, I can shoot two of my ticks without building up heat. Um, yeah, so I'm going to do that. So it's at a plus two and a plus four. Okay. So the ER large laser will be at a plus two. So I'm five, uh, six, seven, eight, nine. So nines. Right. Yep. Okay. So nines on this tick. Not going to make it on that. Okay. And then um, 10, 11. 11s and what's come what what weapons and this is a, a clan uac 10 okay so are you going to rapid fire the uac 10 um, i mean yes is the answer yeah sure yes 
All right. You ready for this? I'm ready. Okay. So you roll you roll to see if you got a hit first, which is an 11. Ooh. Ah, well, it doesn't matter anyway. Uh, you want to edge it? Ah, oh, so for, excited. For, for, for an 11? Hellbringer's up, right? Loki. He's also firing at the Centurion, you say? Yeah. Okay. And what does he have? He has... He can build up six heat. So he has two LRM 15. Oh, I'm sorry. I'm looking at the wrong one. Was like the Loki here. Yeah. So he has two, two, um, two ticks, a, a Gauss, and then two ER large lasers. Oh, wow. That's a so, lot of direct fire. Yeah, a plus two. So he's a, a five, six, seven, eight, nine. So nines on both. Okay. Um, Did you count cover in there too? Yeah. I think, hold on, let me redo it. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Yep. Well, you took the fighter out, Tom. Uh, so it, 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 it wasn't, everything. and you also crippled my spider. You heard him. You heard him pretty good there. I mean, his, he literally has one pip on each leg. Yeah. Um, so the spider's hurting. The airspace fighter is destroyed, but the Crucis Lancers get the strike back now. So let's see what I can do. All right. So the Crucis Lancers are up. Um, I, I am starting with my lower initiative, right, and working my way up. Tom sort of ended at initiative three, lost initiative, so now we're just over to my side, and I'll finish this out. So I've got my Crusader over here, Tom, uh, and this guy is looking right at that Ice Ferret, and uh, unfortunately the Wolverine can't shoot, but the Spider can as well. My so Ice Ferret used Edge, right? He did. Yeah, okay. Yeah, Ice Ferret used Edge, and so did the Sparrowhawk, uh, which was good, because he's dead. Um, <laughs> so... Crusader. I am at medium range, uh, and I'm going to fire a whole bunch of stuff at you. So we're going to start with, so I, I have unfortunately four heat sinks um, only on this Crusader, which is the downside. So I'm going to fire all my missiles, LRM-15s, Artemis equipped, and a pair of Streak 6s, which are just nasty. So we're going to start with the Streak 6s. Um, they need an 8 to hit. Here we go. Ready? Ooh, I love it. it. Oh, I can't. I love it. Can't edge it. Yeah. He's like pressing the button on the cockpit. <laughs> and Sam shields up. Here we go. Location. A nine. That's eight points to that left leg. Okay. That's uh, internal. Okay. Looking for a critical. There it is. Uh, you don't have any ammo down there, right? So it's just going to be an actuator. It's going to slow him down a little bit. Um, okay. So. I got my twin LRM 15s. They only need a six to hit. Oh my god. Wanna edge it. Now the question is, do I edge? You only need a six to hit? Yeah, I'm I'm going to let me think about this. What's your piloting? What's my uh gunnery two? Oh. Medium range zero. So. Okay, got it. So use my edge early, but I, I got to do it. So this is, uh, this is a big group. It's uh, six plus M two. It's Artemis equipped. So uh, the maximum is ten. So this is going to basically reduce uh, the two groups of two. Actually, I'm going to make it a group of three and a group of one. That's how I'm going to do that. So it's going to be a group of six, a group of three, and a group of one. Group of six. Left leg. A group of three. It's left arm. Uh, okay, three. And a group of one. It's the left arm. Okay. Not internal yet. Mm -hmm. All right. Well, that mech is gonna fall over. Could pilot could potentially black out. So I'm gonna roll right into that spider. Uh, and the spider is going to need uh, a, a seven to hit you. Here. All right. I don't know that I can kill you. Can it be a headshot? If it's a headshot, it's instant death. With the float with a critical hit. Can I roll? Can I roll? Can, will this be an epic moment for the Crucis Lancers? Tom can barely stand the pressure. Oh, wait a minute, do I edge it? Do I try to go for the head kill, Tom? No. Yeah. Well, do you have arm? Do you have ammo in your left arm? Um, if you look in the equipment, it'll tell you, it'll say, oh, he's all pulse lasers. You don't have any ammo. Yeah. I was thinking, yeah. Okay. His case anyway. But... 
Not that it helps, but you're not going to go internal anyway. With, well, it's a floating critical, so I can knock out some weapons. Oh, fair enough, yeah. yeah um, and I'm not going internal on the left arm with three damage. Oh, with three? I thought that was a, that's a one. It's an ER large. Oh. Well, I thought yeah. you said it was one damage. I'm sorry. No. Yeah, yeah, no, that'll, that'll blow the arm off, so. Yeah, Doesn't I don't know matter. that I want to do that though. I think I'm. Do I want to? I think I'm going to edge and just and go for the hedge kill. I'm going to do it, Tom. <laughs> okay. Oh, same. No! Didn't matter, I guess. So. All right. Well, I had to, guys. This yeah. is this is do or die. So I, I burned through two points of edge. Uh, it could it could have been. It could have been. That would have been amazing. Uh, but unfortunately, uh, it is what it is. But the Fenris takes some some heavy fire and goes down. I mean, that's a that's a sort of a win in its own right. Uh, now over here to these two backfield mechs, I have a Centurion and my Clint, and I was really debating on, you know, do I want to hit the, the Loki, which is, you know, much more weakly armored than that linebacker, or do I want to just keep putting fire on the linebacker? And I'll be honest with you, uh, I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to go for the Loki. I, I typically don't switch targets, but the only thing I hit was the, like, the, what's the Loki, or I'm sorry, the linebacker took, what, the leg? Yeah. yeah, like, it's not, if it was torso, I'd feel differently. So both of these guys are firing across at the Loki. He's at extreme range. He's at long range. Um, so the Clint, skill three, you're a four five. Uh, and I do believe, Tom, it's a wide open shot. It is. Um, so three, four, five, and then extreme range is four. So I need a nine. Not an easy shot. And I don't get it. The Centurion has the Light Gauss and the LRM 10. Um, man, that sucks. I can't believe I didn't hit with those ER large. That's a, that's a big damage group. That's six points. Um, all right, so here we go. Light Gauss. I need, actually, what is, what is the Light Gauss? The Light Gauss is plus two at long range. That's not bad. So two, four, six is all I need. Seven with cover. Miss it. Miss it. Missed everything with these with these mechs in the back. All right, so last but not least, I'm doing a strafing run with the Sparrowhawk. Um, <clears throat> within the within the width of the strafing run, I can hit the Cauldron Born and the Nova Cat. I'm at low altitude. I'm at basically short range. I'm firing everything I need. Uh, what do I need? I need he's three. The Nova Cat. I need fours and twos. So my right. Oh. Skill three, short range is zero. Three, four, and then minus two for pulse lasers. All right, so the pulse lasers automatically hit the Nova Cat. Let's figure out the location. Seven, that's torso. So four points to the torso. The ER mediums, they hit. Location. Left leg, damn it. What, the, what did they do? Also four. Uh, now, against the cauldron born, I need threes and fives. So pulse lasers hit, torso. What do they do for? Four. And then the ER hits, and four more to the torso. That was a good, that was a good death strafing run. <laughs> so he builds up a bunch of heat, but then he's dead. You know what I forgot? Is I forgot that um, I actually needed... You gonna drop a bomb too? No, I can't, but I, I had to add plus three to all that. To all, all right. those target numbers, but I hit them anyway. Well, you auto hit on the one if you want to roll. Yeah, I gotta roll it. That would be worth five. Yeah. Got it. Oh, the numbers did, were so low. Get it, that would be so ridiculous. The numbers were so low. I think I rolled like six plus on everything. Why would uh, it have to be plus three? Because that's what you need for a strafing run. There's a oh four, okay, which I forgot. Uh, so anyway. Well, that makes a little bit more sense. Like, yeah, yeah. It's turn five. Yeah. One more turn, the rest of my forces come in, Tom. Yeah. You get to roll. Uh, well, we, you want to do piloting on these guys? Oh yeah. Now wait a minute. Wait a minute. So the spider took, the spider took a ton of damage, right? I don't. I took like ten. So did I hit with both? You did. So okay. I need uh, spiders piloting four. Here we go. I need a five. Uh, that was it, because you killed you killed the other thing you shot at. Yeah. Your Fenris now yeah. falls over automatically, mm -hmm. right? Yeah. Um, so, let's take a look here. If you fall, your pilot automatically takes damage. Yeah. Okay. I think. 
So he takes automatically takes damage, but I need to roll for location on the fall damage, right? He's going to take two because he's a medium mech. Basically, it's, well, it's not quite related it's to class. 45, 45 yeah. divided by 30, yeah, and right. all this other stuff. So 11, that's left arm again. So it just goes internal. Uh, no, it, it is, I mean, um, to, yeah, to the torso, right. It doesn't transfer internal, but it does go to the torso. Okay, so just two points to the torso, and then the pilot takes three points of damage, and it's going to be at a minus two modifier, which is fantastic. Now, you have to make, I believe, a five plus for consciousness, is that right? Is that what it's at at that row? No, six. Uh, here, five plus. Oh, yeah. Um, but now, what about the damage? Does that add to it? No, not to not to his consciousness, Josh. Yeah. Okay. He gets it. Oh, man. That'd have been great because you don't have edge. Yeah. That's unfortunate. Uh, Tom, you score one point in this critical game. Are this you not critical... contesting it? Oh, shoot, I'm contesting it. What am I yeah. thinking? Yeah, you knew that the whole time. Mm -hmm. You just didn't want to tell me. No. I moved oh. him in there, and I, and I was like, oh, I'm going to contest this, and I completely forgot about it. I mean, oh, yeah. I knew, I knew you were going to contest it. You're right. So nobody scores this. It's still contested. No. Right. If I would have knocked you out, I would have scored a point. That mm -hmm. would have been the, that would have been the pivot there. Four. Well, the aerospace doesn't really matter to you because you can't score with it, so it doesn't really affect anything. Yeah, that's why Four I kind of wanted to suicide. just get some damage on those mechs. Yeah. I, I knew you were suiciding oh, it. Oh, no. This is bad. This is bad. This is multiple things on that side of the board. Yeah. Oh, if one goes active next time, I'm in, I'm in trouble. I'm in trouble. Yeah. So I need to hold out for one more turn. It's turn five coming yeah, I don't, up. There's no way I'm going to win this. I, I um, disagree. I feel the same way. Guys, that's how you know it's a good game. Turn five is going to be a bloodbath. All right, here we are. It is... Uh, Turn five, Tom. One more turn until the rest of the Crucis Lancers uh, make their way onto the battlefield. The Raven, Wolfhound, and Valkyrie chugging along. Which flank will they, yeah, which which flank will they arrive on? Dude, I don't know. Hard to say. Um, so I won initiative again. Yeah. And that's like almost every turn I've won. You have. So, um, so that means I move first. Right, you move first. So yeah, looking at the battlefield again, the Fenris is out. I didn't even, I mean, he, he's lost an arm, lost a leg, can't shoot because he doesn't have an arm to, to, to prop himself up with, so I just left him to die. Um, <laughs> which is, you know, it's unfortunate. Um, the the Nova Cat I kept behind tree line from these guys, um, but then I moved up the linebacker and the, the uh, cauldron born to try to get some fire around this tree line. Mm -hmm. um, and then the Loki I kept in contention on that beacon, yeah. um, but also tried to move him up get a couple signs. So what about you? It was a stressful movement phase. Um, my favorite part of the movement phase though was was crashing the Sparrowhawk into the supply containers. Check this out. Uh, you can just imagine, yeah, right, exactly. <laughs> just, Where's his little, oh, there's his little. Oh, poor guy. Um, okay, so here's what I've got. I have, I have um, pouring salt in the wound. Uh, the spider ran into the woods, uh, well, walked into the woods, and he is in base-to-base -base contact, so he's going to shoot and kick the Fenris. Um, the Wolverine marching forward as well. Uh, the spider is, in, is contesting objective four, so the Wolverine here. Uh, don't know what I'm going to do. Probably shoot the linebacker. Crusader moved up, probably shooting at the linebacker. Uh, the Centurion, Tom and I talked about this, like, there was nowhere for me to go without eating a lot of, of clan meat. Uh, so I backed him up. He's still going to get covered from just the waiting. bridge. You're just waiting. Just, right just, on just waiting. The Centurion's playing a long game with the Light Gauss. Uh, the Clint using this pylon to block the, the dreaded Nova Cap, but does have some arcs of fire from under the bridge. So yeah. um, we'll try to get that those 20 ER large into play. So Tom, I believe you are uh, you're kicking yourself at shooting, yeah? That's right. All right. Well, let's get into that. Um, I'm going to start firing at the uh, Wolverine, so the linebacker's up first, and then the uh, um, the Cauldronborn will go next. So I figured out that I need uh, sevens and fives and sevens with the linebacker into the Wolverine. 
right? Because we're at um, medium range. And you're all zeros and twos because yep. you're a clan. That's right. Because you're a loser. So three, four, five. <laughs> so fives for my LRM15, LRM5. Okay. Um, I get it. Oh, man. So that's M2. All right. You miss? Oh yeah, that one doesn't count. You're right. Okay, two. so you get two. So you get a group of whatever the main group is. What is it? The main group three is three or four. four. So a group of four and a group of two. Okay. So a group of four. Uh, landing four. the right arm. Right arm. Okay. Group of two to the three. That's the also the right arm. arm. And okay. you said it's a group of two, right? Yeah. All right. That right arm is stripped. Okay. Um, the linebacker then will move on to the ER large laser. Same thing. Needs fives. Gets it with a six. All right. And this is seven damage. To the four. Wow. Oh my god. So that's gonna rip off my ERPPC. Like I can't edge that. I don't I mean I, I care, but like not that much to spend edge, you know? Mm. Um all right, well the arm is gone and per the you know the damage transfer rules, right? Like yeah. man, I lose an ER medium laser and an ERPPC. I'll still get to shoot him this turn, but yeah. not after that. Well, okay. Um, so mo moving on to the um, cauldron born. Cauldron born needs sevens and nines. So starting with the seven. I like that better. <laughs> <laughs> starting with the ER large laser, um, it's a seven. Gets it with an eleven. Is it a single or a double? A single. So oh, this is only four God. damage. Thank God. To the eight. That's the torso. So four okay. points, you say? Yep. All right. Okay, and then Oops. the. The UAC-10 firing in rapid fire, and I need a 9 for this. Oh Not even God. close. Um, can't decide if I should. I'll move on. I'll just eat that one for, even though it does 7 damage plus R7. You can do 14. You can do like 2 hits of 7. But you have to roll to confirm. So it's a 50-50 that you'll get the second 7 points, right? Anyway, right. It's not guaranteed. So you're going to roll the 9. You're going to edge, roll the 9. And then there's a 50% chance that you'll get an extra seven, which is awesome. Yeah. And your other mechs haven't even come on yet for me to use edge. It's, yeah, too early, I think. Ooh. So the cauldron one will move on to this last um, so tick. So cinematic, Tom. Two ER <laughs> medium lasers. This is also at a nine. Six, seven. Oh, my God. And it is a nine. Yeah. Dang. You know, yeah. I haven't won a game in, like... I don't even know how long. You're doing good on this one. I feel, for I feel, sure. I feel like I, feel I, I, may, I may pull this one out. We'll see. Yeah. Okay. So um, my last two mechs are the Loki and the Nova Cat. Headshot. Who, headshot. Headshot. Who are trying to fire over. Oh, no. They're doubling down on the Centurion. <clears throat> yeah. Because um, neither of them can shoot at that Wolverine. So I figured we'd do two and two. Oh. Dice down. Dice down. Trying to keep that steady. Okay. Keep, okay. Camera steady. So... Um, um, yeah, and before I forget, oh, the sure. Wolverine took a lot of damage. It took t uh, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13 is what it was dealt. So, so it, it will need a piloting uh, okay. check. I'm going to have to mark him for that. Okay. Yeah. Is that this one? Yeah, that's the one. Yeah, just throw that one down. That's close enough time. Yeah, I'll put it right there. Okay, so he's marked now. Uh, so yeah, so I'll start with the Loki, just because okay. he's over there. Um, so the Loki's in long range, he's got two ticks. Um, he's got his Gauss and his ER large lasers, they're both at plus two. So he's um, uh, at eights, okay. at nines, right? Does he have cover? Uh, he, yeah, Through I mean, we've we always we... counted the trestles as just, cover, okay. just because there's so much happening. So if you did you did add that in, you yeah. said you need nines or eights. So I get it, nines, oh. I get a nine. Um, no. That'll be five damage to the three. It's an arm. Yeah, right that's, arm. That's right arm. Okay. You said five damage? Five damage. Oh yeah. boy. And then the two ER large lasers. If you pull off this arm, I'll be so sad. Uh, eight. Oh no. That would have been the better one to hit seven, but whatever. Okay. I know. I know. So last true. up, last up, my big boy Nova Cat at extreme range, which this is going to be hard, so but ridiculous. does so much damage. It's so ridiculous. And you know so, what's funny? This is. I would love to do battleitics on this. I think when we looked, it was like twenty four. Because I looked at this, I was it wasn't like, that expensive. Right? It's only twenty four. I mean, only twenty four hundred. Well, but it's ninety freaking LRMs. Like, yeah. and there's three or four variants that are. Four or five hundred points yeah. more than it, which is crazy. And I think this one's very heat efficient, right? Yeah, yeah. I can fire again. It has six heat sinks, so I can fire both salvos of LRMs. Yeah. Right. 
Um, yes, yeah. Six, yeah. six Destiny heat sinks is like an enormous amount of heat dissipation. Yeah. So, uh, okay. Six, seven, eight, nine, ten. So you need tens? Yeah. Ooh, that's juicy. So Three, it's hard. Six. It's just a really hard. Yeah. Am I, am I right on that? Or is it elevens? Yeah. Uh, yeah, 11s with cover. 11s, because cover. Yeah, right, cover. Okay. Really? Seven. 11, 3? Three. Neither. Neither hit. And they're at extreme range, yeah. Yeah. So that's it. Not much. Um, good on the Wolverine, but not much on that. Uh, you know, in retrospect, Tom, and I would have said this had I thought about this in the in the in your when we were talking, you probably could have spotted with the ice ferret on the Wolverine and had to indirect fire the. Ooh, with the LRMs. Wow. I just thought of that now. Brilliant move. I just thought of it now. I know. <laughs> It's okay. No, I did honestly. I, I would have I would have mentioned it um, had I thought of it before, but I wasn't even because I, I I just totally discounted the ice ferret as a as a player. But me too. never we'll discount see, too, never discount your max, right? Yeah. Everything everything matters. All right, so I mean, because right, there's nothing I I can't shoot with him. Right? No, because all of his weapons are on the arm. Anything. No, you yeah. can't physical attack when you're prone. So. So right, he I can't even like kick you from the ground like splail around. You can bite. He's just I'll like, bite your legs off. Yeah. Yeah, and because all of his weapons is they're on his right arm, right? Yeah. So he can't like he can you could one arm prone shoot if you had torso mounted weapons with one arm, but right. because of you got nothing. Yeah. Nothing. Okay. You got nothing. All right. Crucis Lancers, here we go. Alright, back on the Crucis Lancer side, staring down these these just Indestructible clan mechs, or are they, Tom? We'll find out this turn. <laughs> Coming up next on Death Room Above Wargaming. So I gotta start with my lower initiative uh, lackeys here. So that's the Wolverine and the Crusader. Not really lackeys, they're actually pretty good. Uh, Gunnery 2, piloting for uh, the Wolverine Alpha Striking. This is a great variant, and you, you, you knocked it down to nothing. Uh, I got an ERP PC, I got a ER medium, and an SRM6, and they're all on separate ticks, unfortunately. Wow. Um, okay. Just because of the, the, the way bad, the range... Yeah, yeah, I mean, the way the range profiles and sort of the, the way the weapon splits worked, and I'm glad I did that because the if, if I put the SRM and the medium laser on the same tick, I would have lost the SRM too, but thankfully I did not. Okay, anyway, I digress. ERP yeah, PC, I need a... I mean, am I, am I missing something? I need a four to hit, because my range mod's zero, right? What are you two? Yeah, that's it, right? Yeah. Okay, here we go. ERP PC. I'm just gonna go through all the hits first. That hits. SRM. I need a six. That hits. Uh, medium laser. Hits. All right. Now we're gonna go for location. So the ERP PC. It does four damage. That's to the torso. The SRM6, actually this is a streak 6, so it just does 4 straight damage to the left arm. And then the, uh, the medium does 2 points, and that's to the torso. Okay. Alright, so that's, uh, that's good damage. 10 points of damage right yeah. there. Yeah, it's a good opening salvo. Now the Crusader... What do I want to do here, Tom? I, I think I'm just going to fire all the missiles again. I don't want to build up heat with her. Yeah. Uh, I made that same. I was like, I just want to go all out. With I just want to go all but, out, but I don't think that I'm going to. So we're going to start with the um, the LRM. She's also at medium range, so she's going to need fours and sixes. So we're going to start with These the... These two hit numbers are ridiculous. I mean... It's good. It, yeah? I mean, am just, I, are we is. forgetting something, right? It's Gator. Gunnery 2. Attacker mod, right? She doesn't yep. jump or anything. Target mod is two. Range is zero. It's just because the weapons the have weapons great so range. Yeah, yeah. The, this crazy, this, yeah, crazy stuff. Okay. It hurts. Uh, it hurts. <clears throat> okay. All right, I'm going to start with the SSRMs because I want to blow a hole in you and have the missiles find those crits later. Yep. So looking for the six. Just got it. So eight points of damage. I was going to say edge. But... Oh. You're going to have to edge it, right? That's a headshot. Eight points of damage, Tom. Yeah, edge it. All right, so mark that edge off. Mark that sweet edge off. And here we go. Torso. Yeah, and eight, eight damage. Eight damage. That's an internal. That's twin SRM sixes, guys. That's disgusting. Uh, all right, so looking crit for chance. a crit. I get it. So now it has an XL engine, right? Uh, yeah, it does. It's a clan, though. 
Yeah, so a, clan a, XL. a five or six will hit the engine. I have ammo in the torso. All right. So first, I gotta check. I gotta do the XL check, which is a five or six, and then I'll roll. If I don't get that, I roll normally on the table. So okay. it's normally on the table. A four, which is a gyro. Critical hit. hit. Gyro. All right. So he takes a gyroscope hit, and now just. 30 LRM swarming in. I need a four to hit Tom. I'm out of edge. I got it. Okay. You only needed a four to hit. Only needed a four well, to hit. Why would you even need edge for that? <laughs> I mean, have you have you been paying attention yeah. to my luck in the in the last battle course? This is six plus M2, Tom. Alright, so six, seven, eight, nine. So I have a group of six, a group of two, and a group of one. Group of six is hitting the left arm. How much is that for? Six points. Arm is blown off. The group of two. Left arm. Okay, um, keep going. That was an internal crit on, on the torso. All right, let me let me roll the crit. Let me can, yeah. actually let me roll the last point and then we'll figure out the crits. All right, so the last point goes to the five, which is the right leg, um, which is fine. So I do have to confirm a crit on another crit on the torso. No good. Okay. All right. Still, that's a good that's a good run. So that mech's probably gonna fall over. That mech took. 18 uh, plus another 9, 27 yeah. points of damage. I like damage. how you're like, the clan mechs have so much damage. Like, <laughs> that's ridiculous. <laughs> so this is a, this is like a jihad, jihad, yeah. jihad yeah. era. Uh, I do mech. not understand. Maybe a 37 Is it like mech. point equivalent to the clan mechs? That one, yeah. Those yeah. two, those two mechs are new to, like rel for this era they're relatively new yeah. tech because that's like that was so much absurd damage it, like that was ridiculous it's, it's a lot dude if it gets into medium range yeah it's scary yeah, i think that's even more than the nova cat does no it, nothing does more than the nova no? cat tom 35 how much what's the total on an alpha if i if i land everything yeah uh 18 and 6 what's that 24 okay so it is a little bit less yeah yeah, yeah. but i mean that also includes machine guns so let's factor those out oh, 22. Yeah. Yeah. All right, and, like more, and really? wait a minute, all? and if I fire all that stuff, I build up two points of heat. Yeah, that's fair. Which is a well, lot. Well, I would too, yeah. With, with all right, right. so moving forward, Tom, moving forward, yeah. moving forward, looking at the board, surveying, let's go with the spider. Mm -hmm. Okay, spider's going to fire its laser at the Fenris. Um, I moved skill three, I'm mean, point blank, you're standing still. Are you going to have to roll? I think I needed a three. Interesting. Okay. Oh, actually, I didn't because I'm standing next to you and you're no, prone, prone, and I get a bonus for that. You're. Yeah. <laughs> Look at that. It's an, it's an uh, hit. Automatically hit. Yeah. Uh, so three points of damage to the three, which is the right arm. Okay. All okay. right. Okay. I'm gonna do a kick attack, Tom. Okay. Um. Can you with your damaged legs? Yeah. Yeah. There's no. Uh. Yeah. yeah. So I'm gonna need. I think I need a four. If only you could harm yourself by kicking me, that'd be funny. Uh, so that's a hit. Wait, isn't isn't that a classic thing where like you can hurt yourself punching other mechs? No, that's the you? DFA you can. Oh, and okay. you can and charge too, and you can do that. You can hurt yourself in use as well. <laughs> but punch and kick, you're you're yeah. good to go. All right, so location. Now this is going to go to the legs. Even if I'm prone. Yes. Interesting. Okay. Oh, that's a good question. Uh, you're right. Is that so only when full, we're full body table? Yeah. So you can roll everything, right? Man, Tom, you're on it tonight. I'm on it. Some uh, things I know. Some things I know. Listen, kicking people when they're down. Well, I, I like cared about my, that. This is my. Yeah. This is what I do. Comes to hatchets, <laughs> kicking, yeah. stabbing. All right. So two d six, five. That's the right leg. Uh -huh. Two points. He's fine. All right. He's, he's, still, he's still somehow alive. Uh, that's hilarious. That's, that is that is hilarious. You hit his only two good uh, limbs. Yeah. That. Um, okay, so... What you, what's up next? Unbelievable. So, I, this is where it gets tough. I'm going to have to go for the Clint against the linebacker. Mm -hmm. uh, now, if I recall, they're at long range, Tom. Uh, if you want to just... It looks like long. Looks man. like long. What do we got there? 19. 19, okay, that's what I thought. So, uh, I am at a 3, 4, 5, so I need a 7 to hit. This is a 6-point salvo. Can I take the linebacker? That's a hit. Yeah. Location. This is big. A torso. Yeah, he's blown up. Six points. That's just a lot. That's a lot. Yeah. Again, it, it's 
But the abstraction in Destiny, like, six is a lot. You know, we can total up the battle value, but I do think it's actually pretty close. I, be I would believe it, yeah. Um, mm. I mean, it's crazy how expensive... The climax arc? The climax well, arc. I just mean like, yeah, like six versus seven, which is, I think, probably a lot more expensive to get a seven point weapon than a six yeah. or a five. Doesn't matter that much. Most things either have four or six. I you get know what you're what saying. Mean? Yeah. Like, yeah. it's interesting yeah. how it's the same way, like, you pay for. Well, it's like the tick thing, too, right? Yeah. You know? And I mean, it's just, it's the, it is what it is. Yeah. And, no, you it's know, fine. Such is, such is life. But he did get shot by three different uh, medium and heavy mechs. Yeah. You know? It is, it is life. Uh, now, moving across here to the Centurion, looking for Sweet Retribution. I'm going for the Loki, guys. Going for the Loki. I don't like him. I don't like the way he looks. <laughs> with, his, with his crazy you, you nebula Loki's. paint job. Yeah. That actually looks awesome, by the way. Thank you. All right, so he's skill two, four, and then we are at long range. Uh, my light gauss is two, so I need a six. Here we go, seven with cover, because I'm shooting through the bridge. I miss. Tom feels, a, Tom feels a little bit vindicated. LRM 10, me to 7. I miss. How do you feel? Feel better. It's a consolation prize. Tip for tap, yeah. Um, okay, well, Tom, that wraps up shooting. Okay, so we the, he need needs to, to take do piloting check. Oh, he's dead. Oh, right, it doesn't even matter. Yeah, he got blown. It doesn't matter. But the Wolverine needs to make a piloting check. Yeah, does now the, the Fenris for... I mean, he didn't take that much damage, but he's still, like... He got kicked, like... Yeah, no, I mean, he's, he's, fine, he's already, right? he's already yeah. down, Okay. Um, which is, you know, yeah. so that, that's that, which is unfortunate. I didn't dislodge him from that objective. I mean, he's still... Yeah, he's still um, contested. still him. viable. Um, yeah, and I'll, I'll mark... All right, so anyway, let me roll for the Wolverine. Uh, what do we got? You said he took, like, 12 damage or something? Yeah, remember. he didn't take 14. He didn't take... He took 13, actually. It didn't take 14. So, I need a 5. All right, 10. We'll see, got it. So yep. he's good. Still on his feet. Okay. Um, nobody built up any heat on my side. Yeah, I, same. I didn't. I sh uh, now I should have. But... You should have, right? It's true. So would have been another five points of damage. He had it coming, man. I had that head shot on him with the SRMs, the yeah. Streak Sixes. Oh, that's, a, that's an epic shot. All right, well, listen, guys. Turn six now. Got reinforcements here. Um, we got one more. No, um, that one. Oh no, we do. Oh, you're right. We got. Oh, this is huge. Is it gonna be three or one, Tom? Two. Are you gonna keep rolling until you get a three or one? Do you want to roll it? No, I want you to do it. Six. Yeah, I, I have to. Right. Three. Damn. Okay. That's big, guys. That's big. That could have. If you got. If one would have went hot, Tom, that could have been. Yeah. The... A game changer. Hmm. All right, well, this is intriguing, guys. All right, so turn six coming up. The rest of the Crucis Lancers charging onto the board, so stay tuned for some action. It is coming right up. Turn six. Drama. Uh, the the light elements from the Crucis Lancers now entering in from that uh, that eastern flank over there, Tom. Yep. Uh, and and they came in at such a good time. It was our one initiative yet again? That they're in they're in some rear arcs. And what what, what initiative are, are they in? Four. I have threes and fours yeah, over there. So I'm two uh, threes. Right, and you lost. So again, all of my units will act now. I'm being very aggressive and bold here. The Clint moving up. The Centurion coming out in the open, the Crusader coming around, the Wolverine jumping in on the curb stomping in the woods over there. <laughs> Poor Ice Baron. He's not making it out of those woods. <laughs> He's just not getting out. <laughs> uh, and then I got my Raven, my Wolfhound, and the Valkyrie, who Valkyrie's actually part of that medium lance. Um, they're all coming in on that flank, so we'll see. I, I might just go bananas on the, uh, the Loki there, but... We will see. Uh, and you, Tom, the you're notoriously under armored Loki. Yeah, so Notorious. I lost initiative and I, I pulled the Loki around this side of the building to keep capping that objective and to prevent the, the fire from here. But um, yeah. you all flanked me. Uh, and then again, I'd already planned my withdrawal because yeah. again, once one didn't go active, I have three mechs left. Right. Uh, again, since we're playing this as a campaign style, 
if my formation gets wiped below 50% and it's five, so if I lose one more mech, um, that formation's toast. So yeah, too well. Assuming I was trying Fenris to... is still alive, <clears throat> you'd need to lose two more, but yes. Right, right, so I'm, <clears throat> I was, I'm trying to get off the board mm -hmm. um, without getting wiped, so yeah. we'll see. You know, I still have good firepower, so maybe I can get out of there. The Loki, you know, will, that's bad, bad placement for him. We'll see what happens. All right, well, speaking of shooting, Tom, Nova Cat is coming right up. Okay, Nova Cats are up. Um, firing first. So again, um, unfortunately, these outflankers are in the rear arc of both of these mechs, so they're both going to fire at that Centurion, yeah. and the Loki is going to go at the Raven. He's the only one he can see. So I'm going to start with the Loki against the Raven. Um, this, could be, this could be bad for the Raven's health. Yeah, um, that's the hope. So I'm going to fire first with the Gauss, uh, which is at zero. So he's a three, five. So I need fives. Jeez. Okay. Did I get it? And how much damage? To the eight. That's um, torso. That's five damage. Wow, that is that is a melted center torso. So no armor left on the CT. Okay. And then the second is the two ER large lasers. Also the plus zero, so it needs fives. I get it with a six. To the seven. Oh my god. And that is so the raven like comes barreling on the board of Loki. He's like, this is gone. Awesome. Okay. Wow. So Loki's done firing. Um, yeah, that's crazy. Up next is the Ibon Jaguar. <laughs> it's got the little hat on in the cockpit. He's <laughs> like got a mustache. He's yeah. like eating a crepe. Yeah. Oh, oh my god. <laughs> you will you will suffer now. Uh, Roman centurion. It is, it is your scumbag. <laughs> All right, so I shall taunt you. Go away. Uh, okay. Um, Monty Python jokes. Classic. So good. So he, they're at long range. Um, so I'm going to fire uh, my ER large lasers. Um, that's a plus two. So okay. that's a uh, fire. Uh, so I need eights. I get it. Oh, that's oh. an eight. To the four. That's the right arm. So, so that is four damage. Rip off the light gauss rifle on that okay. centurion but it is still standing okay next up is the uh clan uac 10. oh man this, so this is, is a plus four so that's a seven it's a nine ten not even close it's plus four at long range yeah wow wow crazy that's bad, bad, bad range i yeah. mean i'm so used to clan weapons being phenomenal uh, but wow. i guess the uac 10s don't have great a great range profile yeah a lot of my mech, yeah, interestingly, these variants I picked don't have a lot of, like, plus twos at extreme. Well, but that's because, yeah, you don't have any, you don't have any large pulse laser bows yeah, this time. I should have, I should have uh, done that later. Yes, yes, and you live and you learn. Yeah. Yeah, fair enough. Um, so the Nova Cat's the last, last one up, and so he's at long range. 6,000 RPM, RPM, yeah. RPMs, yeah. So he's at only at a plus two. Okay. So it's five eights. So let's hope I hit seven on the first. I'm going to... I'm going to keep that five and I'm going to edge the other. I feel like I need to hit this. Get it with an 11. So, um, uh, M3. It's M3, yeah. Okay. Now so they're Artemis, I, right? Or they're not. I keep asking you. They're, they're not, not Artemis. So what do I need? I need it's three. just a three. Yeah. yeah. So you got a, what is it? A nine and a three? A nine and a three. Yep. Okay. So the, the cluster of nine will be on the eleven. That's the left arm, and it rips the arm off. Uh, wait, five, six, seven, eight. Yeah. And then a group of three to the seven. Oh, then to the eight. I'm sorry. Uh, it's well, it's the same. Still yeah. torso. Yeah. Okay. So that's the first salvo. So the second salvo. Oh my god. Double ones. Oh, Not gonna happen. So I'm gonna um. You're out of edge there. Okay. Yeah, and I don't know if I want to overheat because I got to move. I'm not going to overheat because I want to be able to run them or to okay. like, walk. So I'm done. That's the end. So that's not all for shooting. Yeah. Well, I mean, that's all. You just melted a raven. Um, yeah. But yeah, I don't know that it's going to be enough. Did I take both of your arms off the centurion? You did. <laughs> His arm was just like... <laughs> classic um, classic but, battle tech. Classic battle tech. <laughs> Not to be confused with classic battle tech. Yeah. Um, I don't right. mean classic battle tech. We mean classic battle tech. What a great alpha strike. I don't mean alpha <laughs> strike. I mean an alpha strike. <laughs> uh, 
Oh my god. All right, so Crucis Lancers are up. Can the Federated Suns seal the deal, guys? Let's find out. Let's go with it. All right, so first I'm going to go to the, the curb stomp in the forest here, and all the guns automatically hit from the Wolverine and the, and the Spider. Is it to hit so, so low? We're, we're not even going to go to the physical. It's, normally I would do like the Wolverine and his physical, but I just want to see if I kill it so we can save time. Uh, so the streak six from the Wolverine, i got to roll location on these. So this is four points to the left arm. I'm just going to go into the torso. And that's how many? Two points? Ah, uh, four. Okay. The medium pulse laser goes to the right leg. That's two points. Uh, and then the spider, three damage, going to the left arm. Three damage? Yeah. Because that's one crit. Yeah, okay. I get you it. get it. Okay. Four, that's a gyro. Okay, so he's still alive. So now we're going to go to the physical attacks. Uh, the Wolverine... Again, I think it automatically hits. A kick, probably. I think I need, I think Doesn't I might need just threes. Five anyway. It hits, uh, and then the location floating critical. Wow! Come on, hit the head, baby. So it's gonna be the Wolverine does four points oh, on a kick. Up. Just like you know, you imagine. <laughs> just, yeah, just, just finishing him off. Stuck a hole through him like a uh, bigfoot in in a in a mud in a mud patch. I love it. Uh, so that's great. So the Wolverine and the Spider can't be, it's gonna be on the news tonight. <laughs> Boom goes the dynamite. Yeah. Oh <laughs> my god. Go man. All right, Big so <laughs> let's go over to the to the Loki. Uh -oh. All right. Uh, I am going a little bit out of order here. Listen. Um, because the Crusader's gonna, gonna shoot the, um, the, the Cauldron Born anyway, but I want to see what happens with the Loki, because if I kill the Loki... Game over, man. I feel like it. So the, um, the the Centurion, look at that paint job though. It, it, it is an amazing paint job, Tom. Fantastic, if I do say so myself. Um, the Centurion, it's like if I'm gonna die, I'm gonna die in style, looking good. <laughs> Clam pilots, they're so weird. Tightens his tie up. <laughs> Buttons his jacket, okay. All right, so the Light Gauss is still intact for this round. I'm, right. I'm at long range to you, so I can fire the Light Gauss and the LRM-10. Uh, Wait, I'm you're... Gonna... He's firing at my... No, no, at the Loki. You're all fine. Okay, all, right. all four of these, well, yeah. Yeah, At least these three are firing yeah. at the Loki, and then I'll decide on the Valkyrie. Okay. Um, Centurion, here we go. So Light Gauss... He's skill two. Four, it's four plus range. So I need a six with the Light Gauss, six with the LRM. Here we go, Light Gauss. Hits, location, torso. How many points? Uh, three? three. Three points on the light gauss. Okay. LRM ten. Hits. Uh, this is uh, two plus M one, max four. Just two. Two points to the left leg. Okay. Oh, He's okay so far. Guys. Goodness, goodness. All right. So the raven, the raven here. Now I just want to tell you about this raven, Tom. This is a custom design raven. Took a Raven 2X and I updated it. Uh, I didn't do too much crazy stuff to it. I swapped the the SRM for an LRM 10, and I, and I upgraded the large laser to an ER large. All right, go for it. I mean, it, it falls within our our rules of of modification. Um, I'm within medium range. He is skill three, so I'm so working with a five plus range. So for the first long range group, I need a five. Okay. I just get it. Ooh. So that is going to be 5 plus M1. I get a 2. So it's uh, it's only max 6, so this can only be 1 <clears throat> point of damage here. So here we go. 5 points of damage to the torso, 1 point of damage to the left arm. Okay, so you get a crit on the torso. Well, that's good. Here we go. Need an 8 or better. Got it. Wow. You're getting all the crits. I'm getting all the crits. Uh, 1d6... Ammo. Um, he has ammo in the torso, yeah. SRM ammo. Okay. Now, with yeah. case, you take, case, you take an engine hit, and you take two points of heat instead. So he's still alive. Still alive. Okay. Now, I still have two medium lasers, Tom. Okay. They hit. And I guess it doesn't, you, they don't Do you hit. build up any heat? Wait a minute. I needed a seven with the medium lasers. So I'm going to edge that. He's dead, so... Now the question is, mathematically speaking... Yeah, keep the four. 
No. Yes. No. Yes. Yeah. Yes. Okay. Yeah. Yes. That was the right move. <laughs> Alright, that's the right move. Uh, it's getting late. My math is not as sharp. Uh, location. Wow. There you go. He's dead. Right? To the edge? Oh, uh, yeah, I do have edge. Uh, Reroll that. You're like, ah, nah, I'll just take it. My tie's my tie's looking really good right now. I'm ready to die. All right, so he's gonna edge it. Torso. Yeah. So that's it. gonna be four points of the torso. So another crit. Oh man, I was hoping there was gonna be mutual destruction. I mean, I have one pip of the. Uh... Oh, he's in force withdrawal. That's delicious. Uh, critical hit. I get it. Wow. Now, if I can get an engine. Yeah, hit, he's oh. done. Yeah. Oh shoot! You know we forgot on the ammo hit. Oh wait, I lose yeah. my SRMs, right? But you do. He has an XL engine. He does, Clan XL. So you have to roll. So actually, I do need to re-roll the last critical. You know why? Because I was supposed to make two rolls. Right. R roll the one to see if you, what do you have to get a uh, five yeah. or six. Mm -hmm. See what happens. See. Well, I'm you... gonna do. I'm gonna do it right now. Yeah, that's what I'm gonna do now. I did not get a five or six. Okay. Two. So that stays then, right? No, because I rolled a one the last time and I went to ammo. Right, but so I forgot rolling. to roll the five or six. That's what I mean, but now you do. You don't worry about it. Tom, yeah. Tom's saying it's not a big deal. Yeah, yeah, I mean, if, if you would have rolled a five or six, then I would have been like, oh, let's All right, play so for this crit, I'm going to now roll the, try to roll a five or six for this crit, right? Yeah. Right. I see what you're saying. Yeah, like, it's fine. I get what you're saying. So not a five or six, so I roll on the regular table. You're looking for an engine, right? I'm looking for a five or a six here. Oh, it's out of the out of the tray. It doesn't count. That's our that's our new that's our new dice tray rule. Listen, we're using dice tray. trays. We're gonna we're gonna use dice trays. A two, uh, a two is a weapon. Do you um, have any weapons in the in the torso? I did my um my SRM sixes, but they were I already blew up the ammo for. Well, so the, one of the weapons goes. It doesn't. So the the tick with the still the SRMs is destroyed. Well, they they were already right. No, it's, well they're just disabled with no ammo. But I mean, so no, that, so that yeah. Otherwise, I'd have to re-roll it. You know, uh, if it oh, was, I get if it. it was destroyed. Interesting. Right. So the ammo doesn't okay doesn't enough. destroy yeah. the weapon. Fair enough. Okay. You know, all right. But I do have um, the wolfhound. Yeah. This is a wolfhound three S Tom. This has an ER PPC and three ER. Well, you have not fired either of these guys yet. That's right. I'm going to the wolfhound yeah. next. Let's yep. let's carry this up. You're gonna kill this thing. Let's just <laughs> Tom's like just speed it up. Yeah, just come on. Uh, so the wolfhound's gonna need a five. Uh, also <laughs> at medium range. Here we go. Oh, just get it. Um, four damage to the torso. Warning, structure critical. Right, so the Valkyrie, Adjusting. I'm going to shoot the Valkyrie at the Cauldron Born. Uh, I'm at long range to the Cauldron Born, and the Valkyrie has a, a LRM-15 Artemis uh, equipped here. So I'm going to need a two, a three, four, you're in cover, that's five, plus a, uh, long range, I need sevens. I miss. I'm gonna edge it with the Valkyrie. I'm, I'm going nice. for I'm going for blood. Uh, so this is a three plus M1. I miss it. So three points of damage to the Cauldron Born's right arm. Okay. All right. Now the Crusader is gonna fire twin Artemis 15s at the Cauldron Born at long range. Hits. It is six plus M2. Uh, Artemis actually, so that counts. The four counts as a uh, as a three, so I'll do a group of six and a group of three. Yikes, man! Group that of six and the cauldron born. Ah, left arm. I need a torso. Guys. How many points is that? Six. Okay. And then a group of three going to the right arm. Okay. Did I say I said left you arm the first time, right? Yep. Okay. You strip both arms, but no internal. <sighs> cauldron born, impossible to kill. Um. Is that it for him? No, I got, the, I, got the, I got the Clint. Tom throwing his pen in despair. I have the Clint firing two ER large lasers under the bridge there, across at the Cauldron Born. Uh, no cover, so it's going to be a three, four, five, uh, six, seven at long range, and it does six points of damage. Jeez. Now I didn't use edge on the Clint yet. I got it. Okay. Five. Now I'm re I'm gonna use my edge. What would a five be? Right leg. <laughs> yeah, I'm using my edge. Here we go. A nine left leg. Come on. <laughs> this is ridiculous. Six. six. Yeah. So you yeah. stripped the leg as well. But oh no one turned. God. So Clint used <laughs> edge. Crusader no. used edge. Centurion didn't. 
Valkyrie used Edge, Raven used Edge, but guess what? Raven's dead, Tom. So yeah. uh, we're all marked up. This is the end. That's it. We're done. Everybody went. Everybody went. Tom knocking units over. All right, guys. So this is the end of turn six. Yeah. And the Cauldron Born does need to make a, a test, Tom. He's still alive? <laughs> he took, uh, he took, yeah. He's not going to make it. Why edge? Fall. Oh. There you go. Ah, so, okay, you got it. All right, so you get it. So now the turn is officially over. Tom, your formation. Decimated. 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 And yeah, so you, he doesn't, I don't cap this. You don't so cap So I don't cap anything. You cap nothing. Now you, you've gotten this for a round. I'll get that for a round. It's amazing we got through six turns and nobody capped anything. Uh, yeah. Um... Even with so many mechs, it's yeah, kind of it, was a, it was a, it was a good it was a good game, bloody game, but a good one. Uh, okay, so guys, we're gonna wrap this thing up. Stay tuned for the after action report. Here we are on the battlefield of David, the ninth Crucis Lancers against elements from Clan Novacats Alpha Galaxy. Just. Uh, just won a great victory here for the Federated Sons. Uh, after clashing here in the initial deployment, the planet fall, if you will, of the uh, of the Clan Novacats incursion, um, it was a it was a pretty good fight, I think. I think this one was was relatively balanced. Tom had some unlucky dice rolls. I got some very lucky hits. I think I did a pretty good job on the deployment. Talk about all of that stuff. But how about these new models? Absolutely fantastic. This new Crusader, absolutely beautiful. Uh, the Wolverine, the Spider, obviously. Wolverine from the Game of Armored Combat box set. But the, uh, the Spider there, one of Tom's favorites. Uh, really a great sculpt. And then of course these, uh, these beautifully kind of painted clan mechs here. Well done on those, Tom. Um, just really, really cool, the Cauldron Born. As we, as we said in our review, just one of our favorites there. So some really great stuff here on the table. Excited to play a lot of these new mechs. Uh, but guys, stick around. We're going to talk all about this mission and the campaign system in our After Action Report. Scratch off another one. Nice work, everyone. the first narrative campaign battle, uh, as I like to say, in the books. Uh, nice. So that was a good one. What did you think, Tom? Did it did it meet your did your vision come to life? Now this isn't the one you really wanted to do. We're saving that for yeah. next after we kind of cut our teeth on a, test a little bit. Yeah. Yeah. So this was like the version two already. We we played one, we played V one, and it was pretty widely imbalanced, and we sort of beefed up the clan side. Because again, Clamex are so expensive from a BV perspective, and yes, the sort of crazy. analytics on it don't don't come out as it. It, it is crazy. In reality, we played a BV balanced, a relatively closely BV balanced match. It was like within a couple thousand, right? Even less than that. Uh, yeah, because I, I was supposed to have a small advantage, right, with the coming on waves and things like that, and you had like two thirty ton max, a forty ton max, and like. 255 ton max right. and i just like smashed yeah, just, you boop, boop, boop. i had the exact same force by the way yeah. um in that in that test game but i just like right it was like a shooting gallery yeah. this was much different i thought this was much better yeah uh you missed a lot of nines yeah nines are hard yeah nines but, are hard um so yeah so so it definitely felt a lot more balanced now um i think the issue with unbalanced forces is still yeah for, again, it, and it's very mission specific. Correct. If this was just like a knockdown drag out battle, it wouldn't have mattered as much. And like, I think it would have been, I, I probably would have had a little bit of an edge there maybe for the amount yeah. of firepower I could put on you. But having to move five mechs it, to compete for six objectives and you get, you know, outflank and waves. Right. <clears throat> it made it very hard for me. Um, yeah. 
Which I, it was supposed to. Like it was that was right. Yeah. That was the narrative. Like you were coming into our planet where we're right. like this dug you, in yeah. and like ready to, right. you know. And that was part you of call the your story, buddies right. who are out like at the you know wherever they were yeah. probably at the bar or something. I don't know what they do. But yeah, <laughs> they're, they're like out at the bar. And that's it. And then like you they know drive through Mech Bar. Yeah. And my my ferret my uh, my ice ferret you know was yeah. yeah by himself in the woods. Never wrong place, wrong time. Never go in the woods alone. Like yeah. how many times <laughs> do we have to tell you kids, always go with a yeah. friend. Let it be yeah. let it be case in point. But unfortunately if I would have done that then it would have been three and two. Maybe that would have been better, but I think I would have just lost two mechs instead of one. Uh because again, I Maybe. my guys were stuck behind the tree cover, so I couldn't I had and then it forced me to it was interesting because I thought I was gonna use it to block me, but what actually happened is that it like, it didn't protect me from firing. It actually stopped me from being able to control that side of the board. Mm -hmm. So a little bit wrong there. Um, but no, it, it was really fun. And, you know, I could have um, sprinted more in the first part and really tried to press the numerical advantage, um, taken oh, center right. control and gotten you in shorter ranges and try to really just blow your mechs up. I thought I'd be able to at long and extreme range, but the variants that I picked didn't have the the um, the Pulse clan. Sensors, yeah. yeah, which the first time we play tested it, I was I had a lot lower to hit numbers. Yeah, and um, so my tr trying to keep like my I didn't um, recalibrate my my firing computer in my head. Yeah, so that that was a slight mistake on my part. I think I should have played more aggressively, but I was afraid that with waves. Me being in the center, you could come in on each way from the other sides, and I'd just be like literally standing in the middle, like getting rear arced and this and that, and like you had this aerospace fighter that could just keep strafing me. Like so it was good. at the time when I did it, I was a little bit of and that aerospace fighter, when I'm not when I wasn't trying to focus fire on it, was easily able to do eight points of damage, because again you weren't so worried about bringing them low, yeah. you know, because I wasn't. But as soon as I started like trying to put fire on it, <clears throat> but that forced me to walk so I could target it. But yeah. I think that was worth it because he was doing a lot of damage. So yeah, a couple, on his death couple of things. Yeah. So what do you think? Even if I miscalculated on the airspace numbers, the mechs I hit are still alive. So I just want to put that on record. Um, it did not influence the game. No. Uh, <laughs> I think I hit them all though. I think but I, hit them anyway. I do think the biggest impact of that aerospace fighter was early game when it was distracting you and just being that annoying gnat that uh, bought me the turn or two. Not an annoying gnat, you're doing eight points of damage. Only one turn. But you could have kept doing it. Could have kept doing it, right. It was that initial bite and you were like, ooh. But even, even four points of damage. It's a lot. It's I a mean, lot. It's a lot. Yeah. I, I mean, yeah, that's all so, my armor on one of my arms or something. Right, and it, and yeah, I mean, you're you under blow it He up. was more of like, those, what, what are those, the horse flies. Yeah, oh, horse Dude, fly. horse flies from like a cedar lake, you know, but they, that's more, not, not in that. Well, I mean, it's not cheap, right? I mean, the, the, the support point cost, right, to bring that in. What could you have gotten instead? You could get more upgrades. Like, you could, you, like, you could have made your lance, like, for example, much higher level. I could have made one of my, I could have actually swapped the medium lance for a heavy lance, you know. I'll say that too. Your to hit numbers were so dramatically less than mine. It was very noticeable. I don't understand why though, because it, it, it so half of my guys were gunnery two. Yeah. The other half were gunnery three. Your guys are gunnery three, um, but you had substantially heavier mechs with more firepower. What was crazy to me though, I'm gonna I'm, I'm gonna talk about this. I'm gonna tell you why I think you lost, and it's not because of your tactics. Uh, Stay tuned. Uh, so <laughs> subscribe and find out why. <laughs> yeah. Send five ninety nine yeah. to. Um, so <clears throat> it's crazy to me, like the difference between an eight and a nine. And I mean, I know math. Yeah, right? I know the two d six probability curve. But when it when it when it comes out on the table, especially in volumes of fire, it makes such a big difference. Yeah. Right. Like a huge difference. Um, and the Centurion, the the Crusader, the Wolverine. And the Valkyrie were all skill too. So as soon as I got the Crusader in, I mean, she was able to just like melt stuff, right? Yeah. The Wolverine got neutered pretty quick, so he didn't really get full advantage of it. And honestly, the Centurion missed a whole bunch. Yeah. So Well, because you were keeping him at extreme range. Right. Like, the whole time. So there were a couple things that I think that were not gunnery related 
that made your TNM, the, your, your target number so high. And that's the TMM of those two backfield mechs. I, I specifically picked those, I think I said in the beginning, yeah. because they were my high TMM mechs. Don't ask me why a Clinton Centurion are super fast, but they are. These variants are crazy fast. The Clint moves 711, the um, Centurion moves 812. So they're a TMM 3 and 4 if they sprint. That's hard to hit. Yeah. That with an aerospace fighter on the board, like you're like, yeah. missing a lot and that bought me the time to get the chunky guys on the table and really deliver some some hurt now here's why i think you lost the game it's because this objective went hot first mm -hmm. imagine well th this uh, that actually went first right but i was over here but this was the first one in your backfield that went hot imagine if it was the one either of the any of the other ones in the open yeah yeah and if one would have been a very different of... game and if the one on the building would have went first I would have had a very, very hard decision because that went hot and then that one went hot. If I had to come in on that side, it would have been an open field firefight. You would have won it handedly. When that went hot, I was like, excellent, because yeah. I knew that I could make a, a really strong attack from this side of the field and have my heavies protected, you know, and be able to cut off angles of fire yeah. with the forest. So I think that was a huge, huge factor. Well, being able to contested on the turn that you came in yeah that would really hurt yeah um because if i would have cap i thought my my thinking there was that oh even if he comes in on that edge i'll be able to cap it yeah and then it'll be like a non-issue and what's crazy but, is like the other one was too far away from the side edge i couldn't contest that right away um but this one was close enough that i could get it in and get it in range so yeah it sucks yeah I mean, good for you but it was, I, you know, again, like, it was a really fun fight. I think it could, I really do genuinely think it could have gone either way. I think if the objective, like, again, if one would have went hot instead of this one, you could have potentially capped, you know, two very quickly, and then I would have been on my heels. I don't know. Because, again, like, one, I got to come into the open to capture one. And you're going to win in your five? Gonna, oh, the center is five in the center? Yeah, one was the one that didn't go hot. Yeah, yeah, um, five. You know what I'm talking about. So, anyway. Yeah, I mean... That's what I think, guys. <sighs> it's tough, guys. That's how the cookie crumbles. I think so. Might Listen. Wrong. Listen, that's how, that's how it's the cookie crumbles. Yeah, sorry. Yeah, I would have... <sighs> Interspheres the best. Yeah, I wish I could replay it and play it aggressively and see how that went. We can delete all the footage and just restart right now. Yeah, but the problem is that... Yeah, like we did the first time. No. Um, but then the... Um, but I mean, I... But then the, the objective numbers would be different. Yeah, I know, and that would right. change things. Change I would want it all to be the same, but with that. Yeah. What would, what's one main, closing thought, one main thing you would have thought differently? Um, Take different mechs. Storm Crow instead of a Loki. I think the Loki did fine. I, I mean, think. yeah, he's power. It's a glass cannon, right? I mean, just nuke the Raven. Yeah. Gone. Um... No, yeah, I probably just would have played more aggressively. I would yeah. have taken another turn of sprinting because yeah. everybody would have been further forward and that would have been enough. Yeah. And I probably would have kept the Ice Ferret not out of, like, the, I, you baited me into doing that. Because last turn, the you woods. were like, you should put him in the woods. Which I, I know you were just seeding that bad idea in my head. But and Jesus. but then if he was in front of the tree line, then he could always beeline back. Right. Um, but they would have been more centrally. Yeah, like my, I always have issues with board control. I'm not like I don't think that way a lot. Um, you're you're good at that. Especially you're just a nicer, you're just a nicer person. No, I'm just like I'm always thinking about like, like pew pew, just pew, like <laughs> sneaking around, <laughs> like a rogue. But, yeah, yeah, I'm like very much like a rogue, and you're a paladin, of course. So, yeah, so you're just uh, like straight up the middle, just, just control. But, um, but I I still think yeah, I don't know, man. I like, like it. I'm excited for the next mission. Even I these think. Yeah, with the clan mechs. Well, listen, we have problems playing clan on. This is why I always say it. They're just, they're inherent. There are problems. Yeah, clan on clan, it's easier. Clan on clan, it's easier. And it's not that they're not powerful because if you get the right sort of, the right dice, the right five, like if you would have landed a few oh. of those nines, it would have been a total, I mean, you would have oh. just. Yeah, they would have been melted. Like gone. Yeah, 15 points out. You I mean, just gone, yeah. right? And that's the trouble with like when you have these glass cannons. You either, it's boom or bust. Like you either do really well with clans or yeah. you get. Yeah. And that's why like I asked because if you If they were have, two fours. Oh, oh. Yeah. That would have been a, been a brutal. You know what sucks? I get upgrade points for my guys because they won. 
I get to, I, they get experience. They get experience, Tom. They deserve it. It was a good game. We'll see what we'll see what's uh, we'll see what your guys bring. But guys, listen, I hope you enjoyed this. Try to break your knuckle. Um, <laughs> I hope you enjoyed it's this battle hand. report. <laughs> I can't roll anymore. You're like, you're like this big arm cast. You're like, dude, it's your knuckle. You're like, yeah. Oh they said god. I gotta gotta be in traction for the rest. Oh of my god! It's like I'm on injured reserve. <laughs> yeah, you like. Oh my god, that's too just, funny. Just drop them. Like that. Love okay. Tom. Love it. <laughs> So anyway, I hope you enjoyed this battle yeah. report uh, and this new narrative sort of uh, style. We're going to try to get one out maybe every week is what we're trying for, at least until we yeah. get to the end of this story. Um, so stay tuned for those. Very exciting stuff as yeah. we march into the holiday season, believe it or not. Yeah, when, when do you think we'll do like a deep dive on the narrative? Like how far along the rules do we need to be before maybe, we start? Maybe like, after this one. Like the whole campaign, yeah. like the three or four. Yeah. Okay. You know what? You know what we are going to do though. Yeah, right after this one, probably after this campaign, or maybe maybe sprinkle it in, is we're going to talk to Anthony Scroggins. I'm very excited about do that. We have him on the hook. We, we got him, we got him on the hook. Uh, he he uh, he's excited. We're well, okay. excited. We're gonna we're gonna get together. We're gonna talk about Wave Two. I'm gonna put on my my journalist cap. We got some hard hitting questions. Hard hitting? No hard hitting questions. <laughs> I, I want to know like what his favorite design is. You yeah. know, I want to know things like what was the hardest one to to make. Like, I want to hear about the, the inside scoop. Like, you know, what was the hardest one? Which one did they have the most trouble with? Like, the ones that came out all melted because they were too cool. And mm -hmm. I want to know if there were any, like, secret designs they had that they ended up scrapping out of Wave 2. Yeah, I have questions about, like, did they have standards for depth on panels for painting and mm. stuff like that? I'm, I'm curious about the yeah. inside of things. Yeah, really cool stuff. I, like... I mean, I'm so happy with the way these came out. Uh, painted, I mean. Like, yours look awesome. Thank you. The ones that uh, Alarm Resistant did look awesome. Um, and the ones that I think I did, like, we looked at the the, uh, the Zeus. The There's Stalker, still some, right? you, you know, the, oh, I don't even want to, okay. I'm not, I'm, again, I'm very positive on all the mechs, don't get me wrong, Anthony Scroggins or anybody else. But, like, the Turquina, for example, the, the um, oh, the, you the didn't canopy. Like well, no, it's just, like, again, I was thinking about painting it. Yeah. Certain canopies still aren't deep enough. Yeah, like, like, I want my canopies to be deeper. Well, well on the Turquina, it's, it's, it's raised. It's like raised. And yeah, so it's yeah, really hard yeah. to, like, get it to look right. But I, I think, think but that's what the picture looks like, too. It is, yeah. And I couldn't tell, and there's one where it looks like there's a piece of armor over top of it. Uh-huh. On the mech, but not on the picture. Yeah. So, like, on the picture, it's open and you can paint it, but for some reason it's, like, halfway mm -hmm. armored. I don't know. I'll, I'll show it to you after this. Yeah, I'm interested to see it. Um, I'm anyway, I'm excited to talk to him. Also, he's got new mechs, new mech sketches on his Patreon for patrons only. You're a patron? I am. Spread the love. I mean, like... Spread the love. I spread the love, but also, like, new mech designs? Yes, please. Mm. Uh, I saw some great ones on there. So, if, and, and it's, and it's, like, dirt cheap. I think it's, like, a couple bucks. Yeah. Gets you in. So, definitely check out his patron. Uh, it's Shimmering Sword. This is Patreon. Shimmering Sword, that's right. Uh, also, check out our Patreon. Come on, dummies. <laughs> Subscribe, <laughs> dummies. What are you doing, you dummy? Uh, check out our Patreon. Subscribe to the channel. Give us a like and leave us a comment. We love to hear what you guys think. Some really great comments. Uh, that just keep... Every time. Every time. Every time. Uh, yeah. Is it Zot? Is that who it is? He, he's been on fire lately. Uh, with some comments. There's some. There's a lot of people who have been on fire. I'm, I'm bad with names, but there's one guy who just always crushes it with like, well, actually, this is like the history of this oh, thing. Oh, well, there, there's it's a, I think it Matthew Neuendorf, I think is his yeah, name. Maybe that's how you say it. Matt, uh, I'm sorry if I mispronounce it. <clears throat> right, just fantastic breakdowns. There's a couple, of them. There's a couple like of them. Yeah, there, there's a few of them. So we always appreciate you guys, you know, ch chiming in with the lore. I don't know and stuff how like you it. can like... Just so much. track of that stuff? It's, you guys it's are awesome. Yeah, I'm you guys are awesome. Impressed. Um, so yeah, subscribe, like, leave a comment, check us out on Patreon. That's all I got. Also, yeah. Aries Games and Minis. The stuff should be out, right? Yeah, right he's now? been talking about it, yeah. I so, think he's got you know, unless it's sold out already. It's, it's, I think it's en route, is the, is the French okay. word. En route. Like, en route. like, Coldren Volmer or whatever. <laughs> Evan Jaguar. Entrecot. Entre yeah. Oh my god. All right, well, that's all I got. We're done. This is like where they get the shepherd's crook and pull yeah. us off the stage. Uh, guys, thank Showtime you so much for watching. We hope you enjoyed it. It's great to be back rolling some dice. And of course, stay tuned. Always great stuff coming from Death From Above Wargaming. Have a good night.